so i'm gonna keep this video short and now we are going to get rid of a warning and define array key or in php so now let's take a look at the code and i have the code here so this is the opening of the php tag and this is the end of the php tag all right so you see i have a little form here so it's a good idea to start with the form and take a look at the method that you are using because this is important so i'm using method equals to post so this is the post method all right if you are using a get method for example get this should be fine too but i'm using post for right now all right so pay attention to your method all right in your form and now in the php you see i have used this variable so i just added this dollar name i named it uh name basically and i'm using the dollar underscore post and i opened two square brackets so let me zoom in so you can see it better and let me collapse this explorer okay so let's see how much i can zoom in so you see i have this name so my name so this my name is the name of the input field so you see i have the input field here and now what i want to do is i want to get rid of that annoying thing so what you can do and the easiest way to do it is to simply create an if statement so just type an if and open two parentheses so inside of the parentheses i'm going to use something called is set i'm going to open two more parentheses and i can say for example dollar underscore post all right so dollar underscore post and open two square brackets just like we did here and i'm gonna basically say my name so i'm gonna add the same exact thing that i have for my input field and right after that i'm gonna add two you know curly braces because this will be the code that will run so i'm gonna move this one underneath here all right so i have enclosed all of my code between the curly braces so now if i save this and if i view it so let me just go to the local host again and if i click on app you will notice that that problem has just gone and if i want to add my name here so i'm going to say subscribe for example so subscribe and if i click on add name you'll notice that it will add it here and i don't see that warning so this is it everyone Ta -da! don't forget to like and subscribe oh just one thing just before you go if you still have the problem you know you might be using the get method so you see method in the form you should have if you have get like i do here now you can say and instead of saying dollar underscore post here you say dollar underscore get dollar underscore get here and this should do it all right so this is it yeah bye now